Okay, the trash in the thumbnail is an over-exaggeration. It's not that bad, but it's not the best either. I have mixed feelings about this show. Thanks for considering. I love you guys. I think I'm part of that minority group who does not love this new Netflix show. Never have I ever. I just want to talk to Mindy Kaling. Girl, what is going on in your mind? Mindy! I have some things to say about this show, okay? Just bear with me. I want to start off by saying I appreciate the effort, okay? I love that we have an Indian girl leading a Netflix show. However, it's so cliche. It has cringy dialogues, it has a basic simple plot, and it is so predictable. I could tell what would happen in the show and how it would end up from the very first episode. And that is not a good thing because as a writer and a filmmaker, you have to keep your audience on their toes and keep them excited for what is going to happen next. While watching this series, I found so many similarities to this film called Booksmart by Olivia Wilde. I think y'all have heard it. Uh, it was quite a hit last year, I think. So many similarities. Just, just watch the film and watch the series. Turn Booksmart into a TV series with an Indian girl as the lead. Boom. We have this. Never have I ever. But it's just cringier and just a low version of it. Okay, there's the scene where the, where the principal is scolding Devi and Ben, right? They're rivals and Devi is the main lead. And she says this to them. Get ready to get your degree from sentdufusuniversity.com. <laughs> what kind of writing is this? What shitty dialogue is this? Okay, let me break down the cliche tropes used in this series. Nerdy girl wants to become popular and cool. Said nerdy girl wants to get it on with a hot popular jock. But she has this, um, there's this guy who is her rival in school. And guess what? In the end, she gets together with this rival guy. So it's like enemies to lovers kind of trope. It's so cliche! You might be thinking, oh my god, that sounds so similar. Where have I seen this before? How about every other high school teen drama? How about the hundreds of books on Wattpad? I kid you not, I've literally read stories with similar plot on Wattpad like a hundred times. Which makes me believe that Mindy Kaling is either on Wattpad you know, reading all the stories or maybe even uh, posting a few stories or this whole script for the show is written by a 13 year old Wattpad girl. Like there is nothing new, nothing original about this show. I also want to talk about Kamala's storyline. So Kamala is um, Devi's hot Indian cousin and she is supposed to get married like her parents arranged a marriage for her, arranged a guy, whatever. So she's supposed to have an arranged marriage with a stranger. However, she secretly has a boyfriend called Steve, whom she loves. Anyway, there's a lot of things happen with her and Steve where she's like, oh no, I don't, blah, 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 no, yes, blah, something's happened. Anyway, the, but the thing is, so she does not want to get married, right? Especially an arranged marriage uh, in this century. <laughs> No, she wants to focus on her career and she already has a man that she loves. So she just wants to meet the guy, but you know, she does not actually say yes to the arranged marriage or whatever. But guess what? The door opens and she sees the guy that she's uh, supposed to get married to and he is this hot Indian hunk. And there's a certain attraction between them. There's a certain connection between them and you know, things happen. I want I'm trying not to give too much away. But like, what message are we supposed to take from this? Like, what are you trying to say, Mindy? So, arranged marriages are perfectly fine because the guy is hot. So throw away your secret boyfriend that you have been in love with 
for some time. Granted, they do not get married because Kamala wants, um, I think, like she wants to focus on her career or whatever. So they do not actually get married. But still, like, what? What? What about Steve? Poor Steve, who is in love with Kamala. So he just gets thrown away because now this hot Indian guy showed up. Steve deserved better. I am annoyed. Let's talk about the narrator. John McEnroe is a famous tennis player who narrates the whole series. I never knew of him before this. I think it is a very, you know, interesting move. But I just feel like John McEnroe is not the best narrator. Sometimes his tones, his inflection, it just didn't match the energy of the series. He was just... It felt like he was reading a book or something. Like, he was just droning on and on and it just felt like he was pretending to be interested in the story. Andy Samberg made a surprise audio cameo, I guess, as the narrator in episode 6, which was honestly the best episode. Now, this episode focuses on Ben. Remember Ben, the white guy? The rival, you know, who is, uh, who is Davy's rival in school. And it is just so funny that in this whole series, in this whole show, whole season about this Indian girl, I found this white guy's story most interesting. So episode 6 totally focuses on Ben and his story and his background, his family and whatever. And... I felt that was more interesting, you know, as a viewer, I was more interested in him than I was in Davy's story. Now, there are a few redeeming qualities in the show. Let's talk about them. I thought the main lead, the main actress, Maitre Ramakrishnan did a wonderful job. I think she is a really nice find. She is talented and she did a good job portraying Davy. The main uh, character, however annoying she may be, good job. Her best friends, the actresses who played her best friends, um, they need some work. There were a few funny scenes where I genuinely laughed, so I think that's great. For example, the coyote scene, the whole coyote thing, I, I thought that was funny. And I think the main strength of the show lies mainly in its diverse ca uh, cast. It was really great to see so many people of color on screen. And there's also a character slash act uh, actor with a Down syndrome, so that's great. And you know, Paxton, the hot popular jock that Devi likes, he is not your typical jock. We kind of get a little bit of um, a little peek into his life you know into his thoughts into his family and everything so i thought that was uh, wonderful that he is not just some disposable character but actually someone who is important in davy's life and uh, to the show's plot as well so i wouldn't call this show bad i mean it's it's an enjoyable watch but it's just disappointing i was just kind of disappointed by the show. I mean, in an age where we have shows like uh, Euphoria, Sex Education, On My Block, and so many other shows, uh, never have I ever just comes across as meh. I feel like the show belongs in 2014 Disney Channel. The makers of the show said that they were inspired by Riverdale. <sighs> that makes a lot of sense. So, Mindy Kaling. I really want to support your show, but you just need to think a little bit different, a little bit more original, and get off Wattpad, okay? And maybe hire some creative writers. I really hope that we will get a season two, and that season two will be better, and it will redeem the show. I kind of wish Devi goes to India and, you know, experiences a lot of struggles and a lot of interesting things. But who am I? So keep that in mind, Mindy. That's all. Now I know it got a lot of good reviews and many people, most people love this show. So don't come for me, girl. This is my opinion. But yeah, but if you have watched this show, I would love to hear what you thought about it and whether you have anything to say regarding my views. So why don't you comment that down below? I would love to see them. But that's all I have to say about the show for now. 
So thank you so much for watching. If you liked my video, make sure to like, comment, share and subscribe. Stay safe, stay healthy and I will see you next time. Bye.